Welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Now what you see before you is a Minix and it's the Minix X8. Don't mistake it for the Minix X8 H Plus like the person who owned it did because he tried to update it to Lollipop 5.1.1 and he bricked it. Now there is a way to recover them and I'm going to show you how. A good indication that you have the wrong firmware loaded on is when you boot it up and it's stuck on this screen here. So what we're going to do is we're going to reflash it and put the original Android KitKat back onto it. I'm using Windows 7 because it's much more user friendly for this purpose. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to find the Amlogic USB burning tool. The link is below. Download and install that. Next you'll need to find the X8, X8H, S802 software that you can download. It comes in a zip file. You'll need to extract that to a temporary folder. So next what we do then is we'll just go to the USB burning tool and right click on that. One as administrator. Let's click yes and then We'll go look for the one that you've put into the temporary folder so we'll import the image and there it is there so we'll click on that as you can see it's x8 h s802 so we'll open that and when it opens it'll drop it into the bottom here then we'll go back to the minix itself what you need now is you need the usb to usb c lead and you'll plug that into the side of the Minix box, which you'll just see there. So we'll plug that in. And the other end goes into your laptop. That's in the laptop. Now, I should have mentioned before, make sure that the Minix is powered down before you do that. Next. On the back here next to the HDMI there's a little reset a little hole there so using a little pin just put it find the hole put it in gently and then just press until you can feel it depressing and you'll probably hear a little click you just hear that there and then power up the Minix once it's recognized you're ready to go so next thing you do is you just make sure that it's connected and you make sure your software is still ready the image file is still ready there erase flash and erase bootloader leave them ticked and press start this will take between four and six minutes so i'll just speed this up One hundred percent burning successfully. Next thing is you unplug the USB from your laptop. Do not press the stop button. Unplug the USB from the laptop first. Now you can press the stop button. And you can exit. Next, power down your Minix and wait about 10 to 30 seconds. Plug your Minix back in and press the power button. Now you'll get the same screen as you did previously, but it should go further than that. So we'll just give it a moment and we'll see what happens. It's not done that before, so it looks like we're getting somewhere. Now I did have to power the box on and off a few times, get this. So be patient and it will work. That looks good. Mm. 
you know, we have a working Minix. Let's just check and see what we have. So there we go, a Neo X8, Android version 4.4.2. So we're back to the original setting as it would have been released from the factory. Unfortunately, with some apps now, you can't load them on because they won't take anything less or anything older than Lollipop 5.1.1. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to update this to Lollipop and possibly even further. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and you can find us on other social media platforms. Thank you.